as Ian Anderson, Kevin Jones, Central Coast Disc Golf, and we are out. And Milo McIver for the final round of the 2019 Beaver State Fling presented by Keen. We have a fantastic lead card, and they're going to try and do chase down Eagle, who's got a four-stroke lead on the field. Yeah, Ian, we've got a huge day coming up right here. Final round coverage. It's about to get really exciting, I think. There it is. Like we said, Eagle has a lead. Seppo Payu is four strokes back. We got AJ Risley and the Rickster lurking. Yeah, easily still at this point, any four of these guys could shoot hot and come in and win this tournament. So true. We will kick it off on hole one here in a hot second. It is a crazy dog leg right. Really touchy shot, Kevin. Yeah, touchy is a good word for it. I don't know about these guys, but whenever I played it on the final day, there was a right to left wind. Um, somewhere around this corner that made it really hard to get f far enough to the right to have a birdie putt. So I don't know, maybe these guys are going to throw a little bit higher in order to battle that, but here we'll, we'll see. You can see it on the, uh, the flags. Oh yeah, definitely. Slight le right to left. That makes these guys really have to hug that corner, give some good height on the disc. But it's a, definitely a tricky shot being the first shot of the day. That it is. This guy giving spitting fire up here, man. Yeah, you could hear this from four holes away. He was lit. Set. Uh, Mr. McMahon on the box. Let's see what he's got for us. Is this Eagle throwing his putter? No. It is. Okay. I swear it is. Yeah. That's got plenty of height. What a cool angle. Isn't it? The fairway cam. Love adding that What this time. a beautiful angle to see that perfectly played shot. My word, that was so awesome. What a drive by Eagle to start his final round. Yeah, starting off with a birdie is a statement right here in the final round. Yeah, that's a great get. Total bonus bird. Your friend Seppo Pai. Yeah. Our friend Seppo Pai. We friend, teammate, homie, you name it. Like Seppo's awesome. He's throwing his M3 right here. M3 is a disc that's just going to hold whatever angle he puts on it, and he decides to put an Anheuser on it. But I don't think he got it high enough. It's that win you're talking about, Kevin, yeah. knocking it down. I think he got beat down a little bit. He's going to be at about 55 feet. Looks like I said, we got A.J. Risley. He's been a lead card. All three rounds. AJ Risley, so far, a really solid performance. He's been putting great, and he's been keeping the drives in the fairway. Yep. All three rounds, there is a lead card, I should clarify. <laughs> so don't get burned in the comments. This is a Gobi from AJ. Gobi coming in hot. Looked like it actually hooked up a little bit early. Yeah, he did. It's going to make for a tough look for a two. Yeah, no doubt. Easy three, though. Easy three, but um, getting that two look here is... Uh, it's pretty hard to do. Hey, that's even we got Rick up next. I'm assuming this is a rock it from is. Rick. Casey Pro Rock. He's throwing rocks extremely well right now. Extremely far too. So he cut the corner nicely, but it's just, yeah. Any other day, I feel like, Ian, these, these shots would work, actually. But there's no way that that's getting far enough to the right with a, with the wind that's going on. Yeah, to my eye, they all looked good out of the hand, and then just the results didn't pan out. Yep. Uh, Rick gave that a really good bid, man. I was surprised to see that. Yeah, that could have fell. This is AJ from pretty much the same spot as Ricky. He opts for the more layup approach with the backhand. Yep. No reason to ask for too much from there. Yeah. It does slip off pretty good to the left. Uh, it does. Sneaky. It's sneaky. Seppo giving that one a bit. Yeah, he definitely wants to make that one. With Eagle being as close as he is right here, this is money. And that is a bird. And Eagle just stretched his lead to five. Just yeah, like that. there's no other way Eagle would have wanted to start this, this round. It's business Eagle right now, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Seppo, good. Good par save. That is not a gimme. No. No, sir. Not today. Glad to see his putts working working early. Yes, it's been good so far. Has been putting really well this tournament. Yeah, he sure has. He sure has. He's been actually he's been in a routine. I don't know if he's always done the same routine, but his routine has been extremely consistent the whole event and practice. And so I, I think we're seeing that. Yeah, we we were talking about that. He's really working on getting a routine down with, with uh, John Kirkland's when he's been working with him. Really to nice. Kind of get that putting routine going, and man, it's really showing. Uh, but nonetheless, Eagle still gets a stroke on everybody. Lead is five. We're looking at hole two. Uh, similarly shaped shot, I think you mentioned last time you played this hole. Yeah, it sure is. This one a little bit, 
I don't know, I think it might take a little bit more power if you want to get the park job. It really takes a high shot to the right. When I'm throwing this shot, I want to throw it as high and as right as I can get it because it's going to hit trees up there. Um, and it's going to fall down, hopefully somewhere near the basket. Eagle actually does this a little bit differently than myself, though. Eagle plays a putter so far wide. It's like he's throwing an ultimate frisbee right here. That was the lion, I think. The, that's insane to me. So he's throwing just like a, a glidey putter, and he's literally making that gap as big as you can make it. Sure. Seppo, go for the roller? What is this? I think this is kind of my play. He wow. does roll that. That is his F7, so he got it all the way turned over. That was incredible, man. I've Into never a seen roller. a roller land that high on the hill. Yeah, me either, actually. AJ with the Havoc. Okay, so AJ just left it a little bit left. He All he wanted to do there was uh, turn it over a little more to the right. He's actually in a trouble spot on this fairway. That uh, right where AJ landed can turn into bogeys real quick. That's the same spot he landed in round two. It turned into a bogey then. That's right. Ricky with the forehand play. It's not going to get you parked, but it'll usually get you a putt. Yeah, if you have a big forehand, I like this play. It kind of it can sneak into the green, and it can get you a 30-footer pretty consistently. And so this is the same footage we used from round two. We just re-rolled it. Yeah. <laughs> AJ doing the forehand. That's gonna, that's a better one than round two. That'll give him a look to say par. Yeah, definitely. That's going to be 30 feet straight uphill. Tough putt for par, but he's got a clean look. Ricky. He almost banged that, man. Oh, he's 100% looking to, to cash that. Yeah, Ricky and Chase mode's fun to watch. Yes, it is. Ooh, and I heard the cheers of this. I didn't expect Eagle to make this putt. I honestly thought this was some Seppo cheers, but what a putt by Eagle. Are you kidding me? 45, 50 feet uphill, stand still. Easily. Unbelievable, man. That's something special. And to start off, birdie, birdie, with the pressure on. Those he's are smiling. both bonus birds. Yeah. He is feeling good right now. Oh, he's relaxing so much. Just worked himself into a six-stroke lead, possibly. AJ gives it a good bit of save par. That's going to end up in a bogey, though. And Seppo king of the forest in his natural habitat that just has to pitch out yeah that's that stinks for seppo unfortunately he just didn't have a clean enough look to uh to run it and this is a scary basket to run from almost any angle yes you hit cage here and fall to the ground you could be rolling 60 feet dang you even hit a perfect putt you could roll 60 feet we saw that one we sure did <laughs> oh, see that that was the most brutal brutal hole of the weekend poor thomas man that was such a heartbreaker yeah see this again look how clean that is Kevin I, I can't words can't describe that it's just pure unbelievable the power he gets in that putt yeah it's very very clean uh, there it is six stroke lead up two holes he's blowing this thing open wow that that's got to be very comforting yep hole three we are into the woods what's your play Kevin I do a really overstable sidearm right where the camera's flying um, but this is a cool hole because you see a lot of people playing to their strengths or playing in whatever way they think they can get the disc down the fairway the furthest. Um, Eagle is going to be going with a force over sidearm here, similar to my play. It looks a little low, but if it catches a skip, it'll be okay. No, but it's just too straight of a finish. He's, he's going to have a very long putt. Yeah. For my money, that's the cleanest line is the flex forehand. Yeah. You see people throwing backhands and that's just like a, a get lucky line. It is. Seppo... I absolutely love this. loves this line it's so good and he hits the same the same gap every time i'm not joking he went through it right there yeah he, he goes through these two trees on the right side of the fairway every time and that's his m4 so it's a mid-range roller seppo showing off the skills in the woods man so fun to watch ricky with the forehand yeah ricky missed his line there but that's that kind of plays to how he plays this hole you know that's not a bad miss it can filter up there for a putt sometimes too sure can and Ricky is good at those. We got a Gobi from AJ. Go now somebody. he's just wanting to get lucky. Half lucky. Yeah, half lucky is about right. He's going to be 45 feet from the basket. Either some discussion on where the discs landed or the line of choice. Yep. 
Eagle, big putt right here. Can he go three for three like this? I right, had to give at some point. Yeah, I mean, really. How many 50-footers can you make in a row? AJ's looking for one, though. See if he can get one in a row. Oof. Great run there. Rick from a really similar distance. 54 feet, it looks like. And he comes up just short. Solid run from Rick right there. Eagle, no, uh, no gimme comebacker here for the par. Yeah, pressure's on right there. These 20-footers feel like 28-footers right now. Yeah, for Eagle. Do. And Seppo for a stroke on the card here. Yeah, this is big time Seppo. That's a great birdie. I think he went 2-2 on this hole in the tournament. Nice. If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. this one's a tough get. It's a really touchy line. Yes, this is one of the better wooded holes on the on the course, in my opinion. Takes a very, very well executed shot to get your birdie. I like the roller too. You make your disc skinny going through those trees. It's unreal to me that he can throw with his back foot off the ground. Like he's he's keeping one foot off the box there and one on to avoid a really? foot fault. And his foot is 100% off the ground when he releases the disc. If you would have asked me this a week ago, I would 100% argue that that's questionable. <laughs> but uh, we filmed it and I just saw there, it's clearly not a foot fault. Yeah, he's doing it. A uh, hole four as close as you get to a musket out here. Yes, that's very true. People are going to be throwing putters at the trees on the left side and just kind of wanting to turn it over just slightly into the gap for a birdie putt. Seppo actually forces over here. At a PA1? Yes, that's his uh, glide EPA1, and that's a well-played shot. He hit his gap. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here. Yep. See if he can get going. Pressure's on Eagle right now. Seppo just parked it. He knows he's going to get a birdie. Can Eagle answer? Looks like that P3X. Yeah, good line from Eagle right there. That's oh. just him throwing left side fairway and turning it over right just into the gap perfectly. Looks like Seppo will not be getting a stroke on Eagle. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, we got a pig here from Rick. Yeah, great shot from Rick. Yeah, th three solid drives here. Let's see if AJ can get us going for a star frame here. AJ going to throw a warden. Looks like it. Where we end up here? I think oh. that's a pretty, oh. pretty good shot from AJ. Yeah, finds these two guardian trees here. Got a bid for the two. Ah, oh. yeah, ends up in a par. This those those trees are a really good feature on this hole. If if you have a slightly imperfect shot, those trees can really come into play and get you. Seppo with a good hit for the two. Yeah, that was dead center, 20-footer. He's feeling it, I think. Yeah. Rick's not missing this one. And I don't imagine Eek will either. Nope. Not a bad hole. Three down for the card. I'd say that's about normal. Yes, I would agree. Eagle's still taking his time on the shorties. Yeah, he knows. he knows each putt matters big time right here. And AJ will be dropping in the lone par here. Let's see if we can get one on the next one here. I love how Rick like holds the holds the, the, the finger pose. Yeah, I, I agree. I love Rick's sidearm form. That's super tasty. Uh, there are those three birdies. He will five stroke lead. And we'll kick it off to our sponsors. Hey everybody, this is Kevin Jones. I'm here with my brand new Prodigy VP3 V2 backpack. And I'm loving this thing a lot. It's extremely lightweight. It's carrying all the discs I could ever ask for. It's pretty sturdy and durable. I've got my two putters up here, no problem. Room for a towel if need be. It's really lightweight, it's extremely efficient. And for all you, it's extremely affordable. So come check it out. Love getting outside and challenging yourself to become better? How about spending time with family and friends or just marveling at the pure joy of flight? Then you've come to the right place at the right time. Join the PDGA. All right, guys, we are back to the action. Huge, huge thanks to Prodigy Disc as well as the PDGA for making all this coverage possible. We're making Milo look pretty thanks to them. Whole five. 
It's the forehand hole, Kev. This forehand is the roller hole. Sorry. Yeah, you got it, Ian. This is the forehand roller hole. This is one of the beautiful things about Milo is really requires all the shots, and this is a perfect example of a very unique shot. Seppo is going to be rolling an A2. I thought that's what that was, and catches a late tree. Not bad, but out of birdie position, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's a very scary putt given the situation. Now we have an FD3 roller from Eagle. This is looking more like the line. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, wow. Baby. That was some action right there. Sure was. I think it might have helped him, honestly. That was heated. Yeah, definitely did not hurt, that's for sure. That was good action on the ground from Eagle. Firebird from Rick. That was not bad. That that was an overstable disc, so it was working okay, but he really wants to push that further straight. Yeah, that's where the gaps are. AJ going with the backhand line, the, the bard here. This is there. I've definitely seen the backhand line. The bard isn't unbelievably overstable, but whoa, AJ threw such a soft, perfectly played line. Birdie to last round with the bard, too. Nice. Yeah. Nice game plan, AJ. Seppo, I'm sure, is just laying up from this, this sloped green. You, you mm. don't want to mess with that. No, I guarantee you he was considering that, though. Oh, I'm sure. Seppo wants to win. Rick coming up just short again. Come on, Rick. You're in there. <laughs> start <laughs> yeah, start banging those Ricky putts. 60-footer. That's easy. Eagle for a two. It's a very scary moment right there. Yeah. That was a roller angle all day off well, the basket. Wasn't it? Lucky to grab that trunk right there. And AJ with a stroke on the card gets that stroke back. He lost the last hole. Yeah, well done, AJ. That's why he's on lead card right there. Yeah, he's been playing so well this weekend. Yeah, just he has. Super just solid. solid. Yeah. He's had some unbelievable shots, too. He got closer than you on five. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yesterday, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Damn. Maybe by a foot or two. <laughs> The tongue plays. <laughs> he didn't like it out of his hand. It was a little right. It was. It, it definitely was. It filtered real nice for him. I yeah. Say this hole likes AJ. <laughs> he got some good kicks last round too. Uh, looks like we got a five-stroke lead for Eagle, and we are back out in the open, Kevin. Yeah, five-stroke lead, and this is a, a bread and butter hole for both Eagle and Seppo. Uh, somebody's gonna either gain. Somebody's birdie in this hole. Yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah. With four people who can throw this far in this wide open fairway, it, it should happen. Yeah, hole six is awesome. There's one guardian tree in the middle of the fairway and right in the middle of the fairway. And AJ ah. let Mango go way too early. That's going to be a tough spot. Yep, that's tough. That was his enforcer for the record. Seppo. X1 right here. It needs to miss the guardian. It gets through. I don't know if that was a round. It looks like it was a round. Pretty Solid shot. Wasn't it? Yeah. Just yeah, a real, real nice line on it. Give himself a long look, but it's there. Eagle. He's throwing the max here, metal flake max. Yeah, if you want to get really close to the pin, you have to go inside of the guardian tree. But when you go inside of the guardian tree, it brings in trouble like what AJ found. So there's a risk reward factor to it. Ricky is early also, but if it misses everything, it's going to be putting like. And it does. Yeah. And now he was throwing a max as well. Really? He okay. and Eagle reaching for that right there. I think they're both wanting some really hard finish on it. You're not wrong. So AJ goes for the bard, his second shot. Nice shot, AJ. I had the same exact shot from my final round, and we played it the same Did way. You? Overstable skip shot. I like it. Really well done. Mm -hmm. uh, Seppo looks like he's 42 feet out. Boom. Huge putt, Seppo. Get it going. Yes, he knows that was huge. Nicely done. Get a birdie. Put the pressure on Eagle. Yeah. And this is Rick for his two. Rick. Just can't get it going right now. No, that that's as close as you can come. Mm-hmm. He's ready for one of these to drop, you can tell. That man has lofty expectations for himself. Yeah, he sure does. Eagle with a little bit of an encumbered bid. Eagle did not have much of a clean look at all there. No, no. Seppo just big putted uh, two of the best putters in the world right there. Yeah, no doubt. 
AJ, good par save. Like we said, just super solid. Making the putts he needs to. Exactly. And Rick with a frustration drop in there for the par, and Eagle will do the same here. But Yeah, that's awesome. Seppo getting a stroke on Eagle right there, bringing it to a four-stroke lead. I love Steppo's little one-foot step putt. He, yeah. he never lifts up his left foot. <laughs> he doesn't, does he? Yeah. I like it, too. It's very clean, clean momentum, straightforward. And with, without a doubt, it's legal, too. Like, a lot of people are getting both feet off the ground before yes, they release, you know? there's no question. Mm -hmm. now, there it is. That lead shrunk to four. All of a sudden, hole seven is one of the easier par fours out here. Yeah, this plays right up. If you ask me, it plays right up Seppo's alley. Um... But he's real good at throwing just sm small hyzers with drivers, making sure they finish far left. Seppo really, he throws really hard on this hole. He does. Well, we'll see what they got for it. Seppo should have the box. I believe he's going to be reaching for a D1, if memory serves. That sure is. That's a green D1. Oh, no. And he's unfortunately short of the corner on the wrong side Man, of it. Man, Seppo knows that's a big time mistake. It is, yeah. This hole is easy as long as you get off the... Yeah. The tee clean. Exactly. And what AJ is doing beautifully with his mango enforcer. 66 miles an hour. He's not trying too hard. Just putting it out there. No, he, he's playing a really perfectly played shot. He's going to have about 290 feet left. Yep. Eagle looks like the instinct for him. He's throwing this disc unbelievably far. He's throwing it a lot, too. Yeah. Ah, that's so surprising to see two, I know. Our, both of our leaders, you know, first and second place are not in scoring position on this hole, but they are also incredible scramblers, so we might see something special. Yeah, we've seen, Seppo's scrambling has been unbelievable this tournament so far. Ricky threw so overstable there. Yeah, he did. Got that. He threw it on an Anheuser and still got skip finish. One of his uh, Raptor destroyers. Here is a scramble from Eagle. Yeah, Eagle had no option but just to lay that up. Yep. He got, he got out there pretty well. And it looks like Seppo as well. This is unfortunate. Yep, just has to pitch out and take your, your natural OB stroke. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So they're back in the fairway and looking at Parr's best case. That looks like his uh, King of the Forest PA1. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, pretty sure. Good upshot from Seppo, it putting was. himself within 20 feet. That's a scramble. That's all you can do. Rick ripping the pig up the hill. Good play from Ricky. That's a textbook birdie. Mm -hmm. That'll bring home the bacon. <laughs> AJ? Warden? Beautiful. Nice. He likes it. Yep, yep. He knows he's just keep doing this, and he'll put in a very solid round. So who we got over here? I can't must tell be, you. Must be Eagle, I believe. <laughs> yep. Last of the upshots. Beautiful upshot. Nice yep. scramble from Eagle right there. That'll save his par. Seppo for his par. Nicely done. There it is. AJ looking for a bird. Nicely done. Gets a stroke on the leaders there, as will Ricky with his drop-in birdie. And Eagle clean up the par. Couple of tee shots on that one, man. Did not expect. Yeah, that's all you. That's the tee shot right there is just the most important part. And even Eagle and Seppo know that they could probably throw a mid range off the tee and still have a, a nice birdie look. But um, sometimes you know you're just going with the game plan and you maybe get excited or lose focus for half a second, and that's what can happen. It costs exactly one stroke. That did. Eagle's lead remains at four. AJ and Rick making this a little tighter on the backhand. A hole eight, the backhand roller hole. <laughs> so we played the forehand roller hole. Now it's time for the backhand roller hole. There is no other way to attack this pin unless you have a monster sidearm. We're going to see a few backhand rollers right here. 
Uh, looks like AJ has the box. He is reaching for his Opto Havoc. He's been rolling this thing all over Milo beautifully. Gets this down on a good looking angle. Oh, wow. it was too good, and that is just, that's my worst, worst fear on this hole. It's a pure roller, so good that you go OB long. Yeah, there's some speculation it might have got straightened out a little bit when it went through the rough there in the yeah. middle. Because it looked like it was going to curl in time. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, Rick, oh, he could get bites through too. Yeah, he slowed down, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. This hole gives you a couple options. Like, do you want to hang it wide and drag it in, or do you want to cut it? through and try to get it to turn over real quick at the end i feel like the cleanest line is off to the right with something pretty flippy off to the right do you think like kind of like seppo's throwing right here yeah honestly i think in my opinion the cleanest line is to the left and that's the beauty of this hole is <laughs> that we all see it differently yeah seppo curled a little early yeah yeah i like that middle gap you like the the middle gap through mm -hmm. these two trees it works a lot eagle was headed there. Yeah, he was. Oh, rolling the instinct again, I believe. Wow, yeah. he's gonna use that for a lot of things. That's cool. Yeah, that gets it out there. Um, it's a long bid though, and man, Seppo on the wrong side of that stuff. Yep. Another great scramble Good from that scramble. guy. Good scramble. Yeah, you cannot take that for granted. Ricky, forty-five of the pin. Ricky. Oh, man. Now I I feel it for him. Right. He wants one so bad. Yeah. Eagle, leaving that one short. Yeah, that Eagle's pretty frustrated on that one. He knows that would have uh, that would have been a dagger. AJ trying to save par after that OB drive and a little frustration as he's going to take a bogey here. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, Rick with a par. Hmm. And Rick is so competitive, man. You know you hang out with that guy. Yeah, no, I, he's one of uh, one of the guys I respect the most. Just understanding what what he puts into the game. And his attitude and mentality, his work ethic. Absolute pro. Yeah. As is that guy, Seppo, dropping in his par. Eagle with one as well. Nice. Pretty exciting hole. I like that hole. It's always a chance. You don't see you don't see many birdies there, but um at any given point any one of those guys could have birdied it. Getting a good look at Seppo's roller form. Too cool. Uh, Eagles lead, still four. Uh, AJ slipping back a little bit there as Rick takes sole possession of third place. And we'll be looking at the genius hole and people ask why it's called the genius hole. So they were designing the hole, they were down there on the bottom. And this guy turns around and he goes, they're trying to figure out where to put the tee pad. He turns around and goes, what about up there? And everybody said, genius. <laughs> so. Wow, I can honestly, I can imagine that scenario. <laughs> right? So it's just a big downhill par four. Pretty easy, honestly, for, for you guys, the yeah. pro power. Yeah, as far as uh, scoring is concerned, it's an easier par four. But um, this is one of the better holes on the course because if you don't hit the initial gap, which is pretty small, then you're fighting. You're fighting for your birdie. And there you go. Yeah, I mean, that's it's going to be a pretty routine up and down for Rick, if you ask me. But still, he's got to be focused and he's going to probably have to make a, a small putt. Hmm? Mr. Payu, D1. This looks better than his line that I saw last time. Oh, it what just happened? just caught it. You have got to be kidding me. I thought it was giving me the circle. Yeah, I, I, I really think it would have. Mm -hmm. I mean, still super easy birdie, but yep. man, that had eagle written all over it. Speaking of eagles, looks like a PD two rip. Mm, I love this line. How hard did he throw it? Eighty one miles an hour, I think. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that. Hits the wow. tree. Is Easy. that a record? Yeah, it's ties the record, yeah. Golly. I wish we could have seen how far that was going to go. I know. AJ leaves his explorer left-hand side. Again, up and down's there with two good shots. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Rick second. Mm, Rick is actually, this is not as routine as I was making it sound. But still, he's in the circle after a good shot by Ricky. Yeah, yeah. He threw a firebird on that up shot there. This is a bard from AJ. Man, wow. he loves this thing. Can you imagine throwing along that line of people? Isn't it cool? Yeah. The gallery, BSF gallery is the best. It man. was incredible. Yeah. 
amazing gallery, amazing feeling. AJ, or sorry, AJ, this is Eagle. Eagle and puts Ooh. a very valiant effort up. He was looking for one, wasn't he? Yes. And you know Seppo's gonna give this an honest bid. 96 to the pin. That's a great run from Seppo. That it was. Still gonna result in a birdie. AJ coming back for his birdie. Yeah. Wow, nice birdie from AJ. He's That's stoked. Another good putt from that guy. It sure is. Getting hyped off that, rightfully so. Rick looking for a three as well. Ooh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> man, that was some action there. <laughs> yeah. Ricky putts do funny things when they get to the basket, yeah, man. Yeah, because they just have all this power packed in it. and That nose-down angle. Yeah. There's a birdie for Eagle. Going to keep pace. I'm sure Seppo will be making his. Man, Eagle and Seppo just threw, like, the most perfect lines that you can ask for on this hole. They both got unlucky at the yeah. end. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy because, like, the perfect line does bring that tree into play. It does. Unfortunately, they both caught it. You're usually missing it one one way or the other by a couple feet for a great drive. Yep. Oh, AJ, good hit there, buddy. Yeah, that was fun to watch, and that is our front nine, four strokes, Ian. Yeah, it's started at four and ended up at four. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Seppo can reel him in. We yeah, we've got some big-time holes coming up, like the island hole. That's two-stroke swing right there. We could see some action really soon. That we could, man. going to be a great watch. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for a chance to win. Throw the next one this time. <laughs> cool. We'll catch you guys in part two for the exciting finish.